Arrow point out a few signs of a bad PCV valve and how to replace one on a Toyota motor vehicle. PCV stands for positive crankcase ventilation and the PCV valve is a tool to make this happen. What it does is release harmful gases built up in the crankcase into the intake manifold. It is important for these gases to be released in the intake manifold so it can be processed in the exhaust system before it gets in the atmosphere. This valve is normally in or close to the crankcase cover. In the case of this Toyota Highlander, it is on the crankcase cover here. This valve is a maintenance part which should be replaced regularly, but many do-it-yourselfer do not know this. This should be replaced about every 30,000 miles, which is just about the same time to replace a genuine OEM engine air filter. Two popular signs of a bad PCV valve are excessive consumption of engine oil and smoke coming from the tailpipe, which would also indicate that the engine excessively consumes oil. Another sign of a bad PCV valve is the presence of engine oil in the intake manifold. If the PCV valve is not working properly, oil along with gases may release through this hose into the intake manifold. I had this experience and I discovered this problem while replacing the sparks plug in a 2014 Toyota Highlander. I needed to remove the intake manifold to get access to the rear sparks plugs. That was when I discovered oil in the intake manifold. It is also recommended to check for oil when cleaning or replacing the engine air filter. Inspect the engine air filter box as well as the throttle body. In the throttle body, push to open the butterfly and check for oil inside. If oil is present, you may need to replace your PCV valve. Today I will be replacing the PCV valve in this 2014 Toyota Highlander and the process will be similar for many makes and model Toyota motor vehicles. As I mentioned earlier, this is a maintenance part which costs only $5. You can buy three or more of these and replace them every 30,000 miles. These are genuine OEM and I bought these from a Toyota dealer. I will put a link in the description below for this part. The tools needed are a socket handle, a 19mm deep socket and a torque wrench. Remove this hose connected to the PCV valve, then use the 19mm socket and socket handle to remove the PCV valve. This socket is not very deep but I will make it work. So the PCV valve is out and as you can see, there is a little build up here. Start the installation of the new PCV valve by hand, then tighten to 22 foot pounds with a torque wrench. Reinstall the PCV valve hose and the job is done. Note your current mileage and replace this PCV valve 30,000 miles later. Do not wait until this fails because this can affect your driving experience and eventually damage your engine. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like, share and subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified as soon as I upload a new video. See you on the next one guys.